John Kenny's with me. Footballing success in Europe at last, John. Yes, indeed. League of Ireland's men's clubs have been trying for years, but they've consistently failed to get the group stages of the Champions League. Irish women's side, though P-Mount United, may be showing the men the way as they've actually gone through the group stages to the knockout round and will now play Paris Saint-Germain in the last 32 of the Champions League. P-Mount are at home in the first leg in either the 5th or 6th of September. They're from Newcastle in Dublin. They'll play the well-known French side at either Tallis Stadium or Richmond Park. The winners play Stabak of Norway or the former champions Frankfurt in the last 16. I've been speaking to P-Mount's coach, Ellen Gleeson, about today's draw. We're, we're delighted with the draw. We were hoping to avoid some of the bigger names like Leon and the, the two German teams. So we're delighted with Paris and look forward to the trip. It's good for travel-wise as well. Um, as a team, we won't underestimate them. They've got five or six French internationals in their side. So it'll certainly be a challenge. But on the whole, we're definitely happy happy with the draw. I suppose most people would not know about Piemont. You've uh, Irish champions, aren't you? And, and on into the Champions League qualifiers. Did you envisage getting this far? Well, we were aiming, always aiming for the best runners up um, within the group. But actually, achieving it is is a whole other level of achievement for the for the club and the team. Uh, it's the first Irish team made a female ever to get through. So it's phenomenal success for the girls and the club and Irish women's football on the whole. And uh, you're all part of the Piedmont United structure as well, which has got many uh, senior and also underage teams there as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're part of it. So there's, I think there's 35 teams currently in Piedmont junior and senior teams. So and we've got an extensive um, underage women's section, one of the biggest in the country. And what does it mean then for... Uh, Piemont and the club itself to qualify for the Champions League and, and get a team like Paris Saint-Germain. Obviously, uh, it's the women's team, but they're a well-known team right across the world. Absolutely. I mean, for the club, it's it's just a huge uh, success. It's it's on a scale that they've never experienced before, and no other club has experienced either, as were the first ones true. But it's just. You know, it's uncharted waters. It's it's it raises the profile of the club, increases the chances of sponsorship. We've the new national league coming up, where where Pima and they're a part of. So it's just all go for the club at the moment. And do you think uh, that you'd play this game in Pima itself, or is there a talk about maybe to move uh, the no, game we, to one of the league clubs? It will either be in uh, Tallis Stadium or St Pat's Ground, Richmond Park. And that must be a good fit-up for your players as well to be able to play in one of the League of Ireland clubs as well. Yeah, well, I mean, Piedmont's pitch is, is, you know, we have fantastic facilities up there. The pitch, we'll just, you know, we won't be too daunted by either pitch. We played in them before anyway in, in cup finals and other games. So, yeah, we won't focus too much on the pitch itself. You've got the home leg first, of course. We've got the home leg first, which is, which is great. It is great to give us, you know, boost in confidence, get as much support as we can out there and try to go away with a good result under our belt before we travel to Paris. Which is a week later. A week th- later, either the 5th or the 6th of October. Do you think you can overturn Paris Saint-Germain in that uh, last 32? We'll definitely have a good go. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll get as much information as we can about them and go about planning our tactics and our, our strategies for, for going at them for a home and away leg. Do you have any of the uh, current team playing in the uh, Republic of Ireland women's we, teams? We do. We have six six in the squad. Definitely. Uh, lots of ability and uh, lots of experience. You know, we, we, we'll be the underdogs for the game, but sure, it doesn't matter to us. We'll go out and do our best, you know. We have to keep our feet on the ground and just make sure we're, we're continuing our preparation as we would and try to absorb it as any other game. Keep the players focused on, on the, the task of the game. The club are obviously have a lot more organising to do, and there's a lot of focus on the club now. So there's a lot of, you know, media attention, and but it's great for the club. I mean, it raises the profile. So it's 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 a busy time, but it's a great time. Eileen Gleeson, Piedmont United's coach, talking to John Kenny earlier on. It's exactly five o'clock. You're listening to Drive Time with Philip Boucher.